The inflation is also not about money creation. Here's another popular myth. Oh, gee, the government is printing a lot of new money and pumping it into the economy. That's true. And that's the cause of inflation. That's not true. Why not? Well, first of all, we've been pumping record amounts of new money into the economy for the last 20 years, and we haven't had an inflation. So anyone who thinks that extra money means inflation has got the last 20 years of contradictory evidence. Now, I understand evidence is boring, but if you're at all interested in it, it proves that this is not the case. And theoretically, it's easy to show why it isn't. When the government pumps money into the economy, when the Federal Reserve literally injects new money into the economy, which is doing right now, and which it has been doing, as I say, for 20 years, the question really becomes, what do private employers do facing that money? And they have a choice. That's what free enterprise gives them. Free enterprise means the employer can say, Wow, I know all these people have more money in their pocket. The government has just put more money in people's pockets. So here's something I can do. I can order more goods in my store because I'll be able to sell more of them because they have more money to spend. And that's what the government kind of wants. Because if the stores say, we want more stuff because we're going to sell more to the public with its extra money, then more will have to be produced and jobs will be created producing the more that the employers choose to sell and to make. But of course, employers are free not to do that. Here's what employers can do when there's more money in the economy. They can jack up the prices of what they sell, of what they make, of what's in their inventory. Can't they? Yes, they can. Free choice. By the way, the majority of us pay prices. A very small minority of us, employers, set the prices. The government doesn't set prices. You and I don't set prices. Prices are set by employers. Two, three percent of our population. They're the ones who cause an inflation. And of course, they never take responsibility. They're always doing it because they have to. You don't believe that when your child tells you that. Don't believe it when the childish adults try to tell you that they're not to blame when they're the ones who chose as free entrepreneurs to raise their profit prices. And why? Because they want more profits, Jack. That's why they raise prices. You know, when you go to business school, you learn that's why you do everything for that bottom line, the profit you get. The only thing is the employers know that we'll be mad at them because they raise the prices and that hurts us. So they always have to come up with somebody else to blame. The government, the money creation. Mr. Biden, Mr. Trump, don't be fooled. You have a system that puts the employer in the position of raising prices whenever they think they can make a profit doing so. You want to know what causes inflation? The profit system. It's only a question of the employer deciding when is the right moment to jack those prices up.